now we have a villain who at least isn't like a big degenerate. That's like one of the things I've noticed about uh about this entire army, guys. They, they all seem just to be really messed up in the head. And I know the mangaka that like this is from. Like there's usually one in there though that has like somewhat of a good head on their shoulders. I know um Akame got killed, like, with their guys, they had, uh, what's his name, Wave? I can't remember what their group was called. Because there was the Night Raid, the Wild Hunt, and I can't remember what, uh, S. Death Soul was called. I think it was something German. But, um, everything going on in this chapter, like, it was mostly, like, setting up the fallout of this all went very poorly for them. And, again, I... I think the biggest surprise for me that happened was uh, Hisame died. Because that guy, that guy, that guy dying, I did not, I did not expect at all. I, I figured that he would live. But everything else that's happened, I could have seen that coming. Like, it's it, probably not in the grand scheme of, like, if you sat me down and said, predict what's going to happen. But reading it off, it's like, okay, yeah, I can see these, these things are, you know, nothing's too surprising but i could see you know some of these events happening outside of same dot that, that was the one that for me was just like really like they're gonna kill this guy off like, like the stuff happening with the princess like i couldn't review that chapter on here because it was literally just a graphic it was the chapter like itself was literally just a graphic rape scene on there um man like that what would i have to talk about nothing but um I, something like that, knowing the manga cut, it's like, okay, yeah, I can see that happening. And I, I figure it would have been more of, like, building the revenge uh, for uh, Sami, maybe turning him to a little bit darker of a person. But, no, they killed him off, and I don't really know what could possibly you know, come out of Princess's fate now, other than, like, dying in the end. Like, is that a, like what's she really going to do now? It, she's not a fighter. No one's really going to focus on saving her, and it's, it, like, with Hinoa, like, I could see Hinoa, like, eventually, you know, defeating the king, saving the princess, really end up being over. But it, she is not, like, it's not like Hisame, because I think anyone can look at the scenario for, like, Hisame, not even just him in general, but you have, like, a character like that, and then their, you know, romantic interest individual gets kidnapped, the first thing they're going to want to do is go after them and save them. But that's not what's going to happen here. Like, with his, uh, Hinoa, she's going to probably end up training, probably getting some new weapons, maybe, like, going out and finding, like, a master. There, there's there's going to be multiple steps in there for her to, to, you know, to do and accomplish before she gets to this princess. So this princess is going to go through a lot of horrible, horrible things up until that point. So by the time that they probably get to her, if, assuming that she survives to the end, She'll probably be broken, like like emotionally and mentally, probably just be champ. I would assume, uh, being a prisoner of, of some like bunch of psychos, uh, like it just seems like it, it's gonna suck. Like this, because the guy, the, the king guy, not only is he a bad guy already, but I feel like he'd be one of those guys that was just like one of those kings that probably just kill off one of his one of his. And then just like, well, whatever, I've got, you know, 30 of them. I don't really need fun. So she's she's not in a good place. She's in a very bad spot uh, for, for a whole character. But after that, like, the, the majority of it, you have them just kind of, like, getting screwed. Like, the main main cast faction are just getting completely decimated. You have that really short, uh, kind of cowardly, uh, I, I don't know if he's a general or what he was. But that kind of guy, I think he was a general or commander or something. But he then he doesn't get saved. Like that was another part. Like I thought he was gonna be one of those dudes actually who just gets lucky all the time and manages to kind of just get to the end of like uh, in all these battles based off of just being kind of like a, a coward and just unlucky. But he ends up dying this chapter, and it's one of those weird things when it comes to this mangaka is. These smaller characters that you would expect just to live he ends up killing off but he kills them off in like very 
anticlimactic ways that it's like, damn, you mean you couldn't even get like one of these guys like a cool death. Like this this poor coward dude just sort of dies, uh, and then like the next panel you just see like his head chopped off, and some of those like uh, I know that the the manga himself. Like, some people have been comments as, like, just killing off characters, you know, doesn't make it, you know, it doesn't make anything extra other than it's surprising. It's, like, shock value. And I can I can get that. Like, I, I do think that, like, this manga, like, definitely does a well job when it comes, like, actually, when a death that matters, like, when a death of a character that actually is supposed to, like, hurt you, they do a pretty good job. But I, I do think when it comes to some of the smaller characters like this, how he's willing to kill off people almost like almost out of nowhere is a good trait because you just don't see it coming like if it was done with larger characters that you know just to kill them off like oh well let's just kill off a character this week let's just do that pick a character and then you know get rid of them that's a little different uh but one of these smaller ones where it's like nobody really cares but it's more of surprising that they do it either way um i kind of like this new guy i'm trying to look for his name uh like this new bad guy i like his general design um because he just looked at his name shinobi it's one of the you know one of the commanders like his design he just looks cool he just looks like this big forest bandit kind of like style to it because he's he's in this armor but it's kind of crudish like he's got like the like forearm and shoulder kind of platings to him but he's not wearing a whole lot else. He's not, he's not like clad up, like looking for battle. He, he's like a thug if you just wanted to put on whatever pieces he felt like and not complete the unit. But he's like cutting these guys down. And where I was really happy about this guy is when we got to this point in the, it like where he cuts off this guy's head and then uh, they capture two of the girls. And I was like reading the chapter and it was getting really, uh, you know, doing the old super dark graphic uh war stuff you know, these chicks had their the uniforms like ripped off and you thought it was going to get in some really dark scene and i was happy that what's his name uh shinogi even if it wasn't for like hey we shouldn't do this kind of thing it was more like his these guys were these guys were gonna rape these chicks like sure and he stops him but not because he's like hey guys shouldn't do that it's more of he's like try, he's trying to do like some competition to bring back uh, a new woman for the king, and because of that, he's not letting them kill these uh, you know kill these girls. And, and probably by the end of it, it you know afterwards wouldn't be he, he'd probably be fine with it in in a regular sense, but not in this one because he's he seems to like the uh, the king, and the way that it's depicted, it's a rough scenario because I don't like the king. These guys are definitely bad guys, and so far they're they have that very ruthless, in, you know, in war setup. Which again, it's it's war. It makes sense of why they're ruthless, but the the author goes a little overboard and and you know things like this. Like, I mean, I guess it would it, you know it happens in the being kind of like uh, it would make sense of why it would happen, knowing their side and how kind of again degenerate a lot of their people are. So. Their soldiers really being this bad again checks but it was really nice to see this guy um stop them and like i said it, it's rough because it was depicted shinogi like has a friendship to a degree with the king and it's one of those again it's, it's a trait that i enjoy seeing in antagonist groups you get some form of camaraderie between them because it humanizes them to a degree so you have like the king and Sh the shinogi guy just fishing and they're having just some nice conversations and he's just like oh you know oh you know the, the king still wants stuff even though he's a king and he has seemingly everything but he still wants to claim stuff you know that he sees that it's like being a very manly man never having enough and always just trying to conquer and i get it from his standpoint and like i said i i like it from the standpoint of you're trying to humanize a character you're trying to get us to understand a character more granted i definitely want these two to die in the end like these guys definitely don't deserve to live shinogi hopefully his is at least a manly cool death because i can appreciate him for what he did here and like stopping these girls from getting violated from uh these guys because that's one of those things that i don't think most people want to see and it's just like when you get into like those war crime areas it's like man you guys gotta 
guys are getting a little bit uh a, a little bit kind of fodderish where i'm hoping to see you guys get killed that's the only way I, I think that this guy could have maybe liked him more is if he killed these guys off and maybe he was like this badass savage but he had like a little degree of gentlemanly kind of like war etiquette i think that would have been really cool if he's like yeah we don't do that uh you know in my squad like he's he's like a just that brutal oh yeah let's just kill this dude and behead him but it's like yeah we don't we don't do that either kill him or take him sl as slaves we're not we're not raping him out here that would be that would be actually be really nice to have as a villain just to have that one villain you're like i can understand you and appreciate you but either way um i i still i will like and appreciate what he did for now probably later not so much but for now you know i'll, I'll take that but at the end you know what and then like have getting reinforcements all these ships showing up and i i don't think they're gonna counterattack here i'm guessing this is the end of this battle and they're gonna have to just gotta reconvene and then it was like some scene at the end with uh the, like the Zhao King dude meeting this old guy and I'm wondering I, I don't know if I, I remember this old dude I think he's the one who made um is he the one that made the weapons and everything for like the main cast I can't remember off the top of my head because that's the only really old guy I can think of because for like a half second I thought like oh is it the king but I remember the king looks way younger he uh you know he kind of looks like the same age as the villain king he probably is like in his 40s because I remember the part where he goes out in the field with his like this series like it's a little hard when it comes to monthly series for me just because i don't i don't intake the data as as often as i do like weekly series so like by the time a new monthly series chapter comes around it's been generally a month since i've read it, any of that stuff so the content is still in my brain but it's you know you gotta dust it off and figure out like how much is retained in that memory box and how much is going to um you know how much of that is going to need to be recollected sort of thing but other than that though comment below i i like this chapter like i i really did enjoy the fact that i didn't have to like sit down and contemplate skipping it because it would have some like graphic rape scene but it didn't uh the shinogi dude luckily prevented that from happening so thank you to him and i i really wish that the king wasn't like doesn't like that so i could like him as this cool badass king but I'm happy there's at least one guy in their villain group that I can like. Because I, I like the guy that made people into furniture. Because I thought he just like a really interesting bad guy. But at least we have this dude now. He actually, I think design-wise, he kind of reminds me of uh, Uvo. Uh, what's it called? Uvo Govan or whatever from Hunter Hunter. Or like Grana from um, Siren. But other than that, they'll comment below. Thumbs up the video. But for the like button, subscribe button. And check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate it. Thank you all for listening.